The clamor over the Manipur viral video incident is not easing. Many protests are being held across India and the police in Manipur have now arrested the fifth accused. Now remember, all these arrests have taken place after that gruesome, bone-chilling video of two women being paraded naked and later one of them being brutally gang-raped went viral. The Vion has consciously decided not to air the video, not to show even the still images. Now this video shows two women being paraded naked by dozens of men. An FR reportedly, according to the police, had been lodged with respect to this case on the 18th of May. But the police took action in this case only after the video went viral last Wednesday evening. Now remember, the incident dates back to the 4th of May, but for over two and a half, for, for over well over two months, the police had not arrested any individual in relation with this gruesome case of sexual assault and gang rape. The very first arrests were made after national outrage, once the video had gone viral after 62 days. The latest round of ethnic violence between the two tribal groups, Kuki and Meti, broke out in India's northeastern state of Manipur on the 3rd of May. And even though it's now more than two and a half months, the government is still unable to control the unrest, in which more than 160 people have lost their lives and over 50,000 others have been displaced. Now, even before the horrific video surfaced, the National Commission for Women had been apprised of the same. Two women activists in a civil society organization lodged an appeal more than a month ago on the 12th of June. And since then, the NC W has said that they've written to the Manipur government four times but have not received any response. Meanwhile, in the national capital, New Delhi, students' groups have organized protests against the Manipur government. They've demanded for the Chief Minister, Birain Singh, to resign within 24 hours. And Vion's correspondent, Gurshin Gallen has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report from New Delhi. Listen. A video showing two and women being paraded naked by a mob in the violent we'll 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 northeastern state of Manipur you has want sparked outrage in the national capital. You Behind me are protesters from now Delhi hill. Tribal you Students Forum staging protests area. in Delhi's Jantar Mantar demanding Jordan strict Jordan action and restoration of peace and violence in Manipur. The protesters are also demanding Chief Minister M. Virain Singh's resignation and death were, penalty for the accused. Troubled. As for the updates in the, in the case, the police say they have opened a case of gang of rape and arrested the 32-year-old male accused, including four others. After While the, the latest and the fifth arrest has been made just hours ago, area. All the five arrested accused have now been sent to 11-day police custody. And since the bone chilling video went viral on Ranger. various social media platforms, the outrage in Manipur's Surachampur district has been such that the agitated people on Thursday, which mostly comprised of exam, women, burned we, down we the house of the main the accused. While the Indian Parliament proceedings today have been dominated by the today crisis in Manipur, here, this is how it played out on Delhi streets. Over the development. But the Where outrage that back, followed the videos and emergence in India has camera, put the spotlight on the horrific crime. It something. has also raised questions Just about the failure of the state to comfort the survivors also. and the law we and order it, in the we region. Could do it. With camera person Abhishek Dos, Rana, I am Bushin Balan to be on. World is one. Driver. And also to give us more insight in terms of what exactly is playing out in, at this moment in Manipur, we're being joined by Mr. Subir Bhomik, who's a senior journalist. He's joining us live from Kolkata. Mr. Bhomik, you know, this is an incident that went viral last Wednesday evening. And since then, the police has arrested about five individuals in relation to that gruesome incident of the two women being stripped naked and then one of them later being brutally gang raped. You know, the question that I want to ask you is, has the police at least now swung into action to try and bring about some semblance of law and order in Manipur? Well, you can say it's better late than never, but I will tell you something. You know, this happened uh, in May and nothing happened. The intelligence reports were there. 
but neither the state government nor the center acted. And there is a section, uh, there is Article 355 in operation in Manipur. So the center is as much involved in the handling of the law and order situation and the day-to-day -day problems as the local government. But here something more has to be said. You know, I don't see uh, some action here after this video going viral as a promise for restoration of law and order for the very simple reason that the beginning of the conflict, you know, police officers from their own community, they gave out, you know, weapons, sophisticated weapons, assault rifles and stuff like that, to troublemakers of their own community. 4,700 weapons were given out, actually. They're saying looted, but these were unarmed mobs. They couldn't have looted these weapons from police by force. And I know for a fact that there was no loot there. It was giveaway. Now the government has set up drop boxes in different parts of Imphal and other places in Manipur, asking people who have run away with this weapon to come and deposit them back. So if I run away with a police weapon, I'll be sued under Arms Act under the Indian Penal Court. But here in Manipur, the people are in you know, the government is requesting the troublemakers to come back and deposit weapons. Only 1,000 odd weapons have come back. There are more than 3,500 weapons still with mobs. And these are not professional, I mean, you know, separatist insurgents who have weapons but who attack and do other activities with a definite plan. These are mobs driven by hate. And they have 3,500 weapons. And there are incidents of, you know, encounters between central paramilitary forces like the Assam Rifles and some of these mobs who are armed. So until and unless the government and in Delhi and in Imphal find a way to recover these weapons and put the fear of God in the heart of troublemakers, I don't think some actions, few arrests, five, six arrests over this you know, viral video will actually manage to bring a semblance of law and order back in Manipur. And there is another thing. This is a political problem. Mm -hmm. You have to initiate a political process. You have to get the two warring communities and their leaders to sit on the table and start a dialogue. This is not just a law and order problem, right. which can be handled by deployment of security forces. So you need to get the two communities. And there has to be a basic understanding right. that certain amount of tribal autonomy has to be granted. Without which, I can't see the cookies you know, coming back uh, you know, uh, to the political process and agreeing to stay within the framework of Manipur. They're already demanding separate administration. Right. So these are issues which have to be sorted out politically through dialogue and also in the deployment uh, as far as law and order is concerned. Absolutely. There has to be very strict action to recover all these weapons that were given out by the state police right. people to people of their own community. Unless Mr. Bhavik, they come I think you've raised a very important point here because, you know, what needs to be done is a political solution is needed, but that will come later. But what needs to be done urgently is to somehow cool down the temperature in Manipur to get these lawless mobs off the streets. You know, at this moment, are you suggesting that the police in Manipur has completely failed in doing this? And if that is the case, then what is the solution here? Well, I have no hesitation in saying that the police in Manipur has not only completely failed in arresting the law and order, they have been part of the problem. Petty officers have gone and given out weapons to the people of their own community. And same on the other side. The problem here is, Mr. Saleh, that if the police lose their pride of uniform mm -hmm. and they behave in an ethnic manner rather than in a professional manner, then what hope you have on these police? And that's precisely the reason why Delhi is not taking a chance. We have deployed substantial amount of you know, troops, both Indian Army and counterinsurgency force, Assam Rifles. Even many of these formations have been drawn back from the China border, where the Indians have been in an eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball situation with the Chinese PLA for the last two years, and at a high level of alarm. But this crisis in Manipur has forced the central government to actually withdraw, right. you know, some of these for, uh, troops from the China frontier and deploy them in Manipur. The point here is 
that unless they get support from local police who know the area and who have local intelligence, what are these troops who have just come from the China border handling an entirely different situation expected to do in a counterinsurgency situation where they have been inducted without any appropriate induction process? They've, they've been inducted in a hurry. Right. So, you know, it's good to say that we have deployed so many force, and but it's, it, it will be stupid to imagine that deployment of forces automatically solves the problem. No, it doesn't. And you have to get the political process started to bring the temperatures down. Absolutely, indeed. And also the fact, you know, that the outrage, the national outrage that we've witnessed has happened since that video went viral. And now there are reports that, you know, the National Commission for Women was in fact aware of, of the fact that sexual violence and rapes were happening, you know, right from the outset of this crisis. What, what do you think has been the role of the National Commission for, for Women? Have they failed? in actually doing their duty. You know, they are now saying, I, I, I mean, these national institutions are just involved in passing the buck. The National Commission of Women Chairperson is saying, well, I was aware of this and I actually asked the government to take action. It's three times, not once. I wrote letters to them, but there was no action. The point is, if the National Commission of Women actually writes to the governments, and don't find any action taken. They can obviously move the court. Actually, now the Supreme Court has actually said that if the governments don't act, we will. Now, that's a good thing. Right. But the Supreme Court usually does not take so much action. So somebody like a quasi-judicial body, like the National Commission of Women, should actually have drawn the attention of the court that we have asked these people to take action and they're not taking action. Absolutely. You know, the problem here is that, um, you know, People have suddenly waken up after this horrific video went viral. My point is, this has been happening. The conflict has gone on for 70 long days, more than 70 days. And the Home Minister has gone there for five days. He spent five days in this small frontier state. My point is, what happened after that? Until today, Mr. Saleh, the important question is, you're deploying forces there. You're deploying army, you're deploying... Uh, central paramilitary forces, there's the state police which is there, which should hang its head in shame. Problem is, there's no unified command. I think, I think these you, 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 you hit the nail on the head there, Mr. Bahamik. I think what needs to be done by the government is for it to immediately bring down the temperatures and to ensure that all those marauding mobs on the streets in Manipur are, are in fact taken off the streets and put into prison and ensure that first law and order is established and mm -hmm. second, to start a political process because that is the only way that peace will of course be restored in money. Sorry. Yes, very quickly, Mr. Bhamik, we are short of time. These mobs went and tore up the resignation letter of the chief minister. It was a great drama and the chief minister said, oh, these supporters of mine don't want uh, me to resign, so I stay. Now, these mobs who were involved in attacks, same set of people, go and tear up the resignation letter of the chief is what think, is going I think on that's that's is true. That, that is something which the government will have to address and and this is something that needs to be taken very seriously where accountability mm. needs to be fixed and justice needs to be given exactly. for the people thank you very much indeed mr subir bhamik for joining us and getting us all those insights and details there thank you thank you Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.